So this is the code used to create a simple outro and uh, before we proceed let me add a little spice to it. You can use this as your permanent shutdown outro if you want. You can just create an exe and place it on your desktop and you can use that every time you want to shut down. You can find this code. It will be on GitHub and make sure to do follow me on GitHub as well. And other than that, you can try to use this as a prank virus to your friends, add this to any game or something, an application and send it to your friends. And it will shut down their computer with a message. Obviously, you can change the message right here. And also, you can try to use this to impress your teachers as well in school, colleges, as wherever you are. So now let's understand how this code works. Okay. We are using uh, the Tickinter module because we want to get the GUI because we want to cover the whole screen with a black display. And then we are importing Scripture file because we want to take a little of a pause when we want to make that animation. And then we are importing OS because we want to shut down the system. Currently, I have that commented because I don't want to shut down the system while I am explaining it, right? So we have created the class loading splash and we are defining our init function where we are initializing the Tkinter module to a root variable or self dot root variable and then we are creating the config title and attributes and we are obviously making it full screen because we don't want the our display to get into any of the interface rather than full screen okay you can try to remove and check how it works obviously that's your choice after that we are creating the text field that label that we want to display on the screen you can change it you can use any label you want for current uh, situation I'm using this. Then we are creating a loop and this loop is for just a panel of colors, okay, of this color. Then we are creating the function play animation, okay. Now this play animation is used to create the animation. This is the part where we are creating the path where the animation would happen and then we have to use this uh, looping function to create the movement of yellow colored box in the animation okay so we are creating i in range of 2 which means it will be going two times uh, from this one and then two and it will stop okay then we are creating range of 16 which means the box counting and it will go with the color of this okay of width 2 and height 1 so the positioning of this is created accurately so that it can run accurately if you change then change all of the three so that it will change the position of the loading screen then we have a sleep timer of 0 0.6 seconds and then we are updating the idle task which means we want to update the window so that it can update the animation okay and then in the else condition which means when this uh, range goes off this for condition is ended then we are creating the else condition where we want to shut down the system and then destroy this window and then exit with a zero. So it was pretty simple to understand. Obviously, if you see, if you have ever coded in Python, then you would know that it's the simplest task that you can do. You can remove this main uh, name variable, obviously, but I prefer using it every time you create a code in Python. That's the important part. So now let's run and see. Uh, I want to not shut down my system so i have commented it and i will run it and this is the animation you see the movement of yellow box and after two times it's being stopped because it goes out of range and then it destroys the self root window and then exit okay if we remove the hashtag and run it it will shut down the system so i won't do this okay i'll create another video and add it so that you can see how it works so that's all in this video hopefully you have uh, understood and so that's all in this video thank you for watching and make sure to do subscribe to watch more videos like this thank you